Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is is good tutorial. And what I do here is solve technical drawing problems and also provide important information that you can make yourself for you to have a better performance in technical drawing examinations. As a technical drawing student, I want to ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel, put on notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified and help me to share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students. And don't forget to practice this subject. This is a practical subject practice so that you can master it uh, now i will be showing you how you can find the true length of a line and also how you can determine the horizontal trace and the vertical trace of a line how you can find the vertical trace and the horizontal trace of a line and also how you can find the true length of a line as you can see here we are given these lines and i'm starting with this particular uh, question first uh, what we are going to do here is to find the horizontal trace and the vertical trace and also to find the true length of this line and I'll be using a particular method known as auxiliary view method. I'll be using auxiliary view, view method so I'm starting with this. So this, um, uh, what we have here, so the distance from here to here on this XY line, distance from here to here is 88 millimeters and we have this line so this is okay this are given in first angle projection so that means this is the or this is the elevation and this is the plan so uh here we have point a one here and here we have point b one here we have point a two and here we have point b two so each of these points has its own distance or has its own vertical distance and horizontal distance but horizontal distance is the same the horizontal distance is just 88 millimeters but for point a prime point a by well, point a prime or point a1 it is 12 millimeters from the xy line and point b1 it is 76 millimeters from uh, xy line and point a2 it is 100 millimeters from xy line and point b2 it is 20 millimeters from xy line so i'm going to draw half of this but very important how can we make this line how can we make uh okay where what we are given the distance from this point on xy line to this point on xy line is 88 millimeters so that's what i want you to bear in mind but i'm going to draw half of this that means i'm going to divide each dimension by two so let's go so the first thing that you need to do is to draw the xy line so draw the xy line like this so this is xy line so this is point x and this is point y okay so the next thing that we are going to do is that i will take a measurement of 44 as i said that i'm drawing drawing half size of this so 44 millimeters so this is the starting point then i'll take a measurement of this is 44 okay so next so we have to draw so draw a vertical line down here and here you draw a vertical line through this point like this Okay, so the next thing to do is that we are going to take a measurement for uh, the elevation, that is the, for the front elevation, the distance of point A1 from XY line is 12 millimeters. So I'll be taking 6 millimeters from XY line. So from this point now, I will take 6 millimeters up and distance of point B1 from XY line on this side is 76. So that will give us 38 millimeters. So I will take a measurement of 38 millimeters here. So this is 38 millimeters. This is 38 millimeters. So for me to produce the elevation, so this is point A1. So this is A1 and this is B1. So I will join this together to produce the elevation. So this is the elevation now and also the next is to produce the plan the plan of the line so point a1 from your from the xy line is 100 so i will take 50 millimeters so this is 50 millimeters and point b2 point b2 for point b2 from the xy line is 20 i will take 10 as i said i'm taking half okay so this is a2 
this is a2 and this is b2 okay so i will join this together to get the plan All right, so this is it. So this is the plan. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is that I want to get the uh, the vertical trace and the horizontal trace first of this, of this line. So what we need to do now to get the vertical trace, to get the vertical trace, so we come to the plan. So then you extend this line, extend this line from here. So it touches the XY line at this point, and then you produce a vertical line from here. So wherever the line touches the XY line, so you draw, so produce a vertical line from here like this. All right, so then you extend, extend the elevation also in this direction. So the intersect here. So wherever they intersect, wherever they intersect, gives us the vertical trace. This is the vertical trace now. So that's how you can get the vertical trace. So to get the horizontal trace, you extend the elevation, extend it in this direction. So wherever it touches the XY line, so you produce a vertical line down here. Produce the vertical line down here. Produce the vertical line as I'm doing here. Then you also need to extend the plan. So wherever it intersects the vertical line that we produce down from the XY line, so that will give us the horizontal trace. So this is the horizontal trace. So we use VT to as short form of vertical trace and HG as short form of the horizontal trace. So the next thing that we want to do is for us to get the true length of the line, the true length of the line. So we are using auxiliary view method. So let me show you how you are going to do that. So you are want to get the auxiliary plan and also the auxiliary elevation. So to get the auxiliary plan by this method, what you need to do is to draw a perpendicular line to this to produce uh, you have to draw a perpendicular line to this point and perpendicular line to this point so as this line is inclined at an angle we can't just get like that but there's something i need to do before i move on so from this point b to here from this point b to here draw horizontal line like this draw horizontal line like this and from this point a1 draw horizontal line so this distance from here, so let me call this, let me call this point, let me call it point C. Let me call it C1. And let me call this point here, let me call it C2. Okay, so that's very, very important. So I will talk, I will, I will show you the reason why we have, we do, we have done that. Okay, so now, as I said, we are going to draw a perpendicular line, a line that will be at a right angle to this point A1 and a line that will be at a right angle to this point B1. So for us to do that, we need to make use of our protractor. So set your protractor, set it at this point, like this, that 90 on your protractor. So set it at this point and put a dot here. And then you do the same thing here. Do the same thing here. So put a dot at this point like this then so draw a line through this point like this and you also do the same thing through this point from point b1 so draw a line like this through the point okay now so the next thing that we are going to do is that so we are going to take our set square so set it on this line a1 b1 and you move it out like this so draw this line so this line that you have drawn is parallel to line a1 b1 so then the next thing to do is to take your compass take your compass so you come because you want to draw the auxiliary plan you want to draw the auxiliary plan 
So what you need to do now, first we want to draw the auxiliary plan. So what you need to do is that you take take this distance. You come to the plan here. So distance A to C two. Take it like this. You take distance A A to C two because we are drawing the auxiliary plan here, and this is the plan. So you have to take distance A to C two. Okay. So take this distance like this, and you put it at this point. So put it at this point, then make an arc here. Then the next thing to do is that you join. So join this point to this point like this. So let me call this. Um, so this is A3, and this is B3. A3, B3. So let me call this point, let me call it point C3 here. Okay, so join A3, B3, join them together. Okay, so this A3, B3 is the true length of the line. So true length, so true length is shortened with TL. So it's the true length of the line. So we have gotten that. So this is the auxiliary plan. This is the auxiliary plan. And also, there is an angle here that this line makes with this horizontal line. So this angle is true inclination. So we call it true inclination to the vertical plane. So this line, uh, this angle is true inclination to the vertical plane. Maybe I'll come back and measure that later. So the next thing to do is that we want to get the auxiliary elevation of the line. The auxiliary elevation of the line. So what we have done here is what we are going to do. So you set your protractor at this point and so set it. So they take Put a point here on that 90 so you did do the same thing here on point b2 on the plan so put a dot here then draw a line through this point okay draw a line through this point so that line is at the right angle to line a to b2 so you also do the same thing here okay so the next thing to do is that so set your set square at this point on this line on this line a to b2 and shift it here like this now we want to draw the auxiliary elevation so what we need to do is that you come to this part here where we have the elevation so now take distance b to c2 take distance b to c2 like this B to C2 like this, and then so we are going to put the pinpoint of your compass at this point. Now you make an arc here like this. So this is C4, this is B4, and this is A4. So we join this together, join B4. A4 together, A4, B4 together like this. Okay, so this is the true length for the auxiliary elevation. This is the true length for the auxiliary elevation. So the true length of the line. So if you take a measurement here, so if you take a measurement here, so they must be equal. So looking at what I've done here, this is 60. So the true length here is. 60 uh 67.5 and here also i must get the same thing it should be 67.5 so that's what i get so the true length is 67.5 and the true inclination to the this angle here the angle that this line makes with this a4 c4 is known as true inclination to the true inclination to the horizontal plane, true inclination to the horizontal plane. So this angle 
a straight inclination to the horizontal plane so if you ask to measure it so what you just need to do is to come here with your protractor and measure the angle so this angle here which is straight inclination to the horizontal plane is uh is 29 degree 29 degree so true inclination to the horizontal plane is 29 degree and true inclination to the vertical plane is this angle here this angle here so the angle will not be the same the angle will not be the same so this angle is 35 degree so 35 degree so that's how you can determine the vertical trace and the horizontal trace of a line and also the true length of the line it's as simple as i've shown it here all you need to do is to practice thank you for watching and thank you for listening god bless you